Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a video that I've been seeing going around. I first saw Samantha Ravendahl do it, um, but I don't know if anybody did it before her, but I saw her video and then I saw Christy do it and then I saw my friend Ashley do it too. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it because why not? So I'm gonna be reacting or answering um, your guys' assumptions about me. So I asked you guys on Instagram the little answer thing um to just leave some things you assume about me and i will either answer them or react to them also i've fallen asleep two days in a row without doing my skincare i don't know what is wrong with me i've never done that in my life um so i'm gonna use the glow recipe watermelon glow mist real quick because my skin is so dry so hold on this mist is so fine but it feels so nice i just read these off it's gonna be a super chill video i've been busy literally like all week i haven't had time to do anything um my hair is a disaster right now um please just ignore that so i'm just gonna go through them and answer them first one is uh, i assume you like being alone uh yes and no i really love my alone time and like i don't mind doing things by myself and like for the most part i do like doing things alone but um or like being by myself a lot but i also don't like to be by myself either it's a really weird thing so like yes and no like but i would say for the most part yeah i do like being alone which is really weird but also very good to know because before i used to hate me by myself i couldn't do anything by myself so now that i have evolved <laughs> i don't mind being by myself tequila is your drink of choice and yes when it comes to like hard liquor or like alcohol I guess um, but I will always choose beer before anything I feel like beer but tequila and beer are like neck and neck so like vodka I don't like whiskey I don't like um, pretty much anything else I will just strictly drink tequila if we're going that route you know you have a resting bitch face like me but you're actually the nicest person um, I actually got a couple of these <laughs> that I have like resting bitch face. Uh, I definitely do. I have like the worst RBF in the entire world. Like I feel like I always look mad. I'm saying like, oh my god, I saw you in public, but like you looked mad, like or like you look like you didn't want to be bothered. And I'm like, no, I promise. Like it's really not. Like it's just my face. Like when I'm like just out and about, I'm always just like. And that like that's just literally my face, but um yeah i definitely do though people often recognize you when you're working at bath and body works no actually i really don't um i definitely got recognized more when i worked at ulta maybe because it was like makeup and stuff but bath and body works not so much i've had a couple um and it's been really funny and i've actually had like people that have worked with me that followed me too so that's funny um but no i really don't get recognized at work that often um but i did when i worked at ulta you're scared of confrontation and if something you order gets messed up you won't say shit I'm not necessarily scared of confrontation like i don't mind confronting someone but like if my order from like the restaurant is messed up like i i would say like 95 percent of the time i won't say anything unless it's like really messed up but then again i've actually gotten like i get burgers all the time and like i have gotten like pretty raw ass burgers and i haven't said anything so maybe not um but i have definitely like ryan is definitely like that ryan will not say anything like he will just like eat it <laughs> you and ryan fell for each other love at first sight um i mean i don't know his answer to that um but i know i definitely like the minute i saw him i was like uh yeah i like you i think because he was just tall he had green eyes and i yeah i guess maybe i don't know you have sloppy handwriting oh well, sorry i just assume you do um i feel like now i feel like once you get out of like school you don't write as much or at least i don't find myself writing that often so my writing has definitely got sloppier it's not like the worst like i feel like i still have neat ish writing but a lot of the times i'm like if i am writing i'm doing it really fast like i'll just like scribble but like in high school i had excellent handwriting like it was great even when i was in asb i used to make posters and I used to love my handwriting. You'd rather go to a brewery than a club. Yes, I've never even been to a club. Well, 
I've been to a club once. I went to One Oak, but that was like because it was Shayla's, um, was it her Maybelline event? It was for her Maybelline collab, and that was the only reason why I went. Um, but no, I don't even, I've never even been to a club to like actually go clubbing. And yes, I'd rather go to a brewery any day. <laughs> Thought you would be rude, but you are seriously so sweet. And I'm so thankful for you and our combo. So <laughs> I get that a lot too. I always get like, oh my god, I thought you were gonna be really mean or really rude. Again, I think that goes back to like the RBF. Um, I definitely, I think it's just my face, honestly. Um, because I'm actually really nice. Like, once you actually know me, like, I am pretty nice. I'm never, like, intentionally rude to anybody. Sometimes, like, I'll even admit it. Like, I know I can be rude sometimes, but it's, like, literally, like, so unintentional. Like, I truly don't mean it. Sometimes I just, like, really come off rude and... Like, every time I meet someone, too, I'm always, like, in the back of my head, like, oh my god, was I rude right now? Like, it's, like, my worst fear is, like, being rude to somebody I hate it. Like a goth appearance, but deep down, you're very sensitive and emotional. Love your vids. Thank you. Um, I feel like I don't look very goth, um, but I definitely like more, like, like, edgier, I guess, appearance. I don't know, but, um, I'm not really that emotional and I'm not really sensitive either um <clears throat> I can be sensitive towards certain things but I'm definitely not like that emotional at all I don't like being emotional either like being emotional makes me feel really weird and uncomfortable like the minute I start crying I hate it I'm not like a sensitive person at least I don't feel like I am next one let's see you and Ryan don't want to get legally married um no we actually talk about this not like often if we want to get married um legally <laughs> but it's not anything like that we're like super rushing into or anything I don't care to like get married anytime soon so um but no we definitely if we would get married it would definitely be legal <laughs> you live at home with your parents uh yes i do i get a lot of questions about this all the time I'm talking about this the other day with somebody too and like i feel like i get a lot of like I don't know, I feel like when you live at home with your parents, it's, like, really looked down on for some reason in, like, this community, like, and I think it's because so many people that are, like, in this, like, beauty community, beauty industry or whatever, they're, a lot of them are, like, super young and they don't live, like, in LA, so, like, everybody, everybody, like, moves out on their own and, like, gets an apartment in LA and, like, lives alone or, like, lives with their, like, significant other or whatever, and, like, if you don't, you're, like, looked at, like, why don't you live? on your own and like honestly for one I take care of my mom so like that's like my number one priority and two like I don't need to like I don't need to live on my own I don't need to live with Ryan like I'm happy at home I feel like a lot of people that I know at least like still live at home too like I don't know um I'm only 23 I will be 24 like at the end of the month but like I have priorities here at home and like honestly I live in a like the LA County area already like I don't feel like I need to move anywhere else and like if I were to move out on my own like I wouldn't move to LA as it is and I probably would still be living in the same city that I'm living in so like why would I even want to move like what like down the street just to like say like wow I live on my own you know you and Ryan want to live together love you so much I love you too um we do like eventually but like i was saying like i have priorities here at home he has priorities at his house and right now like we're just not it's just not something that we want right now you're not that social i am not I definitely am like super anti-social which it kind of sucks sometimes because i wish i wasn't but like um no yeah i definitely am not that social um you were conceited no, I don't think I've ever been conceited. Not a party girl, more of a homebody. Yes. I don't like going out. I don't like going to the clubs. I don't, if I am going to like do anything, like drink or anything, I want to just like be with Ryan or like my friends and not really go out. And yeah, I definitely would rather like stay home than anything. <laughs> you don't like living in LA. Um, I don't live like in LA LA. I live in LA County. Um, and I would rather die than live in LA. Um, I hate LA. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't understand why everyone wants to move to LA. It's honestly gross. It's so dirty. It's so like overpopulated. There's so many freaking people. There's so much traffic. Like it takes three hours just to like do anything, like do one thing in LA. It's like ridiculous. I hate LA and I don't understand why everyone loves it so much. <laughs> you love Timber movies? I absolutely do. 
Tim Burton movies are my absolute favorite. I could watch them literally all day long. They are the best and yeah, I love them. You love Brendan Urie. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm wearing a Panic of the Disco sweatshirt um, right now. So yes, Brendan Urie, I love him. He has been my number one love since I was 12, 12, 13. I don't even know. Yeah, like 12, because that was when Fever came out. Um, or like 11? Was it 11? Oh my god, it might have been 11, honestly. I don't know, it's been a long time. I have been obsessed with Panic since forever, since Fever. And yeah, I even found like this thing recently, like on my Tumblr, which was like from like 2011. So what was that, like eight years ago? And it was like, who is your like number one celebrity crush? And it was Brennan Neary was number one Tyler was like number two and I forgot who else was on it oh the guy from like Cobra Starship game whatever his name is it was a rough time okay <laughs> you are really sweet in person despite how down you can be on your YouTube I don't really am I like down <laughs> I don't know like on my YouTube I don't know uh <laughs> I don't think I am like super down on my YouTube like down like as in like I'm sad like or like mean I don't know I mean I am really sweet <laughs> I think so um, I don't think I'm like super not sweet on YouTube though um you are very protective of your friends and family and show love with your actions more um I am very protective over the people that I love I will like literally defend the people that I love till the death, like before even I, like I even defend myself, I will always defend and protect the people that I love, like my family, my boyfriend, my friends, like my close friends and stuff, always. You're an only child, love your content by the way, thank you. Um, I am an only child, technically I do have two half sisters, um, I don't, I didn't grow up with them though and I didn't, I don't really talk to them that often now, so um, only one of them and that's every so often but um yeah i guess technically i am an only i am an only child from my parents so um i'm the only one they have together my dad has two other kids you smoke cannabis not a bad thing i low-key hope i'm right because same uh no i don't um no like at all uh i used to a lot in high school uh now no um it gives me like the worst anxiety Ever. And I, before everyone's like, you're smoking the wrong one. Like, no, I trust me, I know I used to a lot and it's it's not the, like what it is or what I'm smoking. It's just, it doesn't work for everyone. Um, and also when I used to a lot, I didn't have anxiety really. Um, so now that I do have it, it really just <laughs> sets it through the roof, you know? Um, but no, I don't, I'm sorry. I can't even remember the last time I did, honestly. You are a plastic surgery queen uh no <laughs> i've never had anything done my lips my lips is what gets asked the most no my lips are natural i was born with these um you think if i <laughs> like had plastic surgery or got fillers or anything you think i would still have a double chin like no <laughs> like that is like the one thing that i probably would do if i ever had like plastic surgery is that plastic surgery like I don't know um because it's like Kybella I guess that would be like a surgical cosmetic procedure I guess um which I I have thought about getting Kybella but I'm literally freaking terrified of doing anything like anything at all I'm so scared and there really isn't anything that I would even want anyway um even if I wasn't scared of getting plastic surgery or like a cosmetic procedure or something um but I literally like overthink everything and I think the worst of any possible situation. So I'm always like, wow, uh, what if I die? Like <laughs> literally anything, like it could be anything and I would probably think that I'm gonna die doing it. So no, I don't have any plastic surgery. I've never had anything done. I'm not against it or anything. Like I just personally, there's nothing on me that at least that I would want to change other than <laughs> this. You could be the meanest if they try you. Absolutely, don't fuck with me, but seriously, like, I really can't be really mean if I really wanted to be. I have a lot of questions when it comes to like friends or um, past friendships and I'll just say this right now because I'm honestly so sick and tired of the same questions all the time. If I don't talk to somebody anymore and it's very apparent that I don't talk to that person or 
post pictures with them or tweet them or follow them, it's probably because we're not friends anymore. <laughs> um, I'm, I get this question often. I get tagged in tweets with the same people. I get tagged in their Instagram pictures on literally everything. I'm really tired of that question because I get asked it so often. I get DMs and everything about it. And yeah, if we, if it's very apparent that we don't talk anymore and stuff, it's probably because we're not friends. I always assume that you're good in school. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, okay, so I was really good in school up until maybe like my sophomore year of high school. Um, I think my junior year and senior year, I really went down when it came to my grades, um, mainly because I was just not in a good place. I was partying a lot too in high school and I just honestly didn't care about school. And uh, I had so many, it wasn't that I, I'm not smart because I actually know that I am pretty smart. I was lazy in high school and that was one of the things and also I was just partying a lot too. Um, so my grades went down and I had a lot of like truancies in high school too. So like I don't even know how I even almost graduated because of that. I went to a lot of Saturday school. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, and then when it came to college, I just it just was not for me and yeah, I guess I'm not bad at school, but I definitely didn't want to be in school. <laughs> uh, you don't speak Spanish. I don't because I feel like I say everything wrong and I feel like everyone judges me if I say anything in Spanish. I don't know how to say everything in Spanish. I understand it more than I can probably speak it. This wasn't brought up speaking Spanish, so everything that I've um, like learned I've learned like on my own or just hearing other people saying and kind of just putting two and two together you're secretly obsessed with the crime shows on the ID network no actually I feel like a lot of people are I'm not I don't even know what shows are on the ID network I am obsessed with reality TV <laughs> uh, I love reality TV I don't really watch crime shows but I do really like videos like on YouTube that are like crime related that I do like I don't know why I just don't watch them like on tv i will sometimes but like it's not like anything that i'll like be like obsessed with okay so last few assumptions you're shy but you get comfortable after a while this is definitely true ish i'm not like super shy but i'm definitely like very like i don't know i'm very quiet um when you first meet me but definitely like once i kind of get to know you a little bit and oh like I'm around you a little bit more. I definitely am very comfortable and I'm not like super shy. I'm actually pretty... Ryan says I'm loud. I'm not loud at all, but that's my own opinion. You partied a lot in high school. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, probably why I don't even like to go out now. I just feel like I did so much before I was even 21 that it's just like now... I'd rather just be at home, you know? I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. I have to go right now because Ryan's sister is in labor <laughs> and I need to go over there. So yeah, um, before I, I know I'm gonna probably gonna get questions because I get a lot of questions when I like shell my phone on Instagram. The case that I have is from Velvet Caviar. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.